Hey, how are Hi. you? Hi. First off, I just have to say a huge congratulations on the film. I absolutely loved it. It was so much fun to watch. And with that, I'll just jump right in. So my first question is for Chopin. So you play the titular character, Mr. Malcolm, and I'm hoping you can share a bit about your character and what he is up to when audiences first meet him. Sure. Um, Jeremy Malcolm is one of the most eligible bachelors in 1818 Regency time uh, London. And he is on the hunt for someone who he is going to spend the rest of his life with, someone he can fall in love with. But he's worried about falling in love with the wrong person or the feeling of being totally un not in control uh, that love brings. And so he sets up these a list of criteria to, for the perfect person which will stop him falling in love and definitely stop him falling in love with the wrong person. But um, yeah, he pres prescribes far too much and it just won't work for him. And some people fall foul of his list and become quite offended as a consequence, which leads to the beginning of the events of our film. Awesome, great. And then for Frida, I'm curious, I absolutely loved your character, Selena, and I'm wondering what attracted you to that role? Um. Well, what attracted me to that role is definitely doing something that I'd never done before. You know, as an actor, you constantly want to be challenged and and uh, be doing different stuff and also stuff that kind of like breaks ground in some way. You know, so, something that moves the, moves the needle and, and pushes the conversation forward. And I think uh, with being able, with my love for the period films and also the romantic um, comedies of the 1990s, uh, just a 90s era, um, made me really want to be part of this film and um, play this character and wear all these amazing costumes and hats and bonnets and not so much the corset, but yes, the corset as well. Awesome. Yeah, it definitely looked like it was just such a fun film to be a part of because it was great to watch. Um, and then for Chopin, I'm curious, what was it like for you to sort of create and act in the stunning world of Mr. Malcolm's List, complete with the marvelous fashion, the lavish getaways, the masquerade balls and everything in between? It was a dream come true. We had the most amount of fun making this movie. Um, yeah, the costumes are a massive part of it, but also the people that I got to work with were an even bigger part of that. Very cool, yes. I mean, I'm sure that it was definitely a team effort. And then for Frida, what do you hope audiences get out of watching Mr. Malcolm's List? I really do hope that they get a sense of joy and hope. You know, there is so much this film does in terms of celebrating love and humor and 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 kind of also um there's there is a lot of like self-learning you know self-love and and self-discovery that happens in this film so i hope there are storylines and parts of the stories parts of the characters that are relatable to some you know probably not each and every one of them you'll know of in your life somewhere but um but i hope there's some kind of relatability and i also do hope that uh when people leave um however wherever they're watching this film which i'm hoping is in cinemas um i i just really do hope that they feel like the two hours of escape was really worth it mm -hmm. Definitely. That's absolutely how I felt. And I'm sure that others will feel the same. That's all the time I have. But I want to thank you both so much for your time. And once again, congratulate you on such an incredible film. Thank, thank you. you so much. Have a good day. Thank you.